while back when I first created this channel, I used a talking robot cartoon. Some of you may remember it, however, if you're new to my channel then just go back to my older videos and you'll see how I used it. Basically it looks exactly like this. After a while I slowly changed to this. However, I noticed in my comments people were asking how to create the talking robots. In this video, this is exactly what I'll show you how to do. First off, you'll need a script. You can write your own, use ChatGPT or Claude, doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure by now you know how to use ChatGPT, but for the sake of this video, let's just go over it real quick. So head over to ChatGPT and use a prompt to generate yourself a voiceover script. This is the prompt I'll use. I need a voiceover script for a YouTube short. Please provide me just the text script and nothing more. Do not include timestamps or opening scenes, etc. Just the text that I need to read. The video should be 30 seconds long. The video topic is artificial intelligence. Alright, so here is the script it gave. Once you have a script, you'll need to create a voiceover. You can read your script out loud using a microphone or use text-to-speech. For this video, I'll be using 11 labs for my text-to-speech. Of course, if you have a good mic and a non-noisy room to record in, a real human voice will always outperform the AI text-to-speech voices. However, if you're like me and don't have a quiet room to record and you'll want to go this route. So let's head over to 11 Labs and generate our voiceover script using the text that we got from ChatGPT. First, we need to choose a voice. Head over to the Voice Library tab and let's select a voice. I'll use Michael this seems like the voice everyone uses. Oops, looks like my account can't add any more voices, that's fine, I already have a voice that sounds similar to Michael which is called Bruce. So let's generate our voiceover script. Paste the text and click generate. Hey friends, today we're talking about artificial intelligence, or AI for short. Think of it like a computer doing stuff we used to do, but faster and smarter. It helps doctors, makes video games cooler, and even powers your phone's voice assistant. But it's not just robots and tech stuff. AI is changing how we live every day. Cool, right? So, stay curious and keep asking questions. Catch you later. Cool. Once you have your voiceover, which should be in MP3 or WAV format, we will head over to new.express.adobe.com. Hey, real quick. It takes me a lot of time and energy to make these videos, so please hit that like button and subscribe so I can continue to make content for you. 97% of you watch my channel but aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button for more AI-related content. Okay, back to the video. Click Animate from Audio from here you can pick your cartoon avatar, and this drop-down you can sort them by humans, creatures, food, emoji, etc. The robot I used is under Creatures. But let's go over the features besides the character. Let's start with the background. Clicking on the background tab, you'll be able to select from a bunch of different backgrounds. However, for me I set my background to a green screen because it will be easier later on to key that green screen out. So click on the custom color box and set your hex code to hashtag 00B140. You can also use hashtag 00FF00 or any color your wish. Next, click on the size tab and select the size you want. For me since I create YouTube videos, I always use YouTube landscape. However, you may want to select shorts if you're doing short form content. Once you got your character, background and size all set, if you plan to record with your microphone just click on the record button. If you plan to use a voiceover script like mine, click on the browse button located here. Keep in mind your file size can only be 2 minutes long and 1 GB max per upload. Now go ahead and upload that 11 labs voiceover track we created earlier. It will take some time, but keep in mind that everything will be animated, from the mouth movement to slight shoulder and arm movements, so the wait is well worth it. Once the upload and syncing is complete, just download your file and you're done. And that is basically how you do it. However, for the sake of this video, I'll even show you how to key out the green screen from the robot. The easiest way to do this is by using a free video editor called DaVinci Resolve. So head over to blackmagicdesign.com, download DaVinci Resolve and install and run it. Open DaVinci Resolve and drag and drop your clip from Adobe Express into the media pool. Click on edit to the bottom right and drag and drop your clip down into the editing timeline. Next click on the fusion tab towards the bottom and you'll see the media in and media out boxes with a line connecting the two. Over at the top click on effects, then click on the search icon and type Delta. You should see the effect called Delta Keyer. Drag and drop the Delta Keyer effect onto the line that connects media 1 and media 2 nodes. 
Now head over to the background color and click and hold on to the eyedropper tool and drag it to the green section of the clip and let go of your mouse button. It will remove the green background. Now you can head back over to your edit tab and edit your video as you would. Press spacebar to play the clip. Here's how it should look with the green background removed. Hey friends. Today we're talking about artificial intelligence, or AI for short. Think of it like a computer doing stuff we used to do, but faster and smarter. It helps doctors, makes video games cooler, and even powers your phone's voice assistant. But it's not just robots and tech stuff. AI is changing how we live every day. Cool, right? So, stay curious and keep asking questions. Catch you later. And that is how it's done. Now you know how to make a talking robot video from start to finish. You've got your script, your voiceover, and even some editing tricks up your sleeve. Easy, right? If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool tutorials. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.